In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create something in 3ds Max called a bomb. Now, this part, th this particular video is not going to cover the fiery explosion of something blowing up. Uh, that'll be your next lesson. Uh, but this was just an introduction to taking a uh, a mesh and exploding the mesh into different pieces, sort of like debris flying all over the place. So, in your uh, reenactment, you may have a mesh model similar to this that. Um, needs to to explode that the pieces need to go flying everywhere and then you'll put it, an explosion in the middle so I've created a, just a basic sphere and I want you to come over to create geometry and underneath the menu um, we're gonna go ahead over to our space warps now under space warps pull down and use geometric deformable and you're gonna see the word bomb select bomb and just click right outside in the middle of the sphere. Now when I run the time slider nothing happens and the reason why is because this sphere does not acknowledge this bomb yet. Now if we're working with something over here in space warps we do not link one object to another we bind them and that is over here the third icon is bind to space warp. So now I can go in select my sphere and drag it to my bomb icon the bomb icon will in fact um, blink and then if you look here in the perspective view as I go ahead and pull my time slider boom there we go the sphere blows up and then if you notice it all kind of falls to the ground there's a little bit of gravity going on in there so now we want to go ahead and make some adjustments what kind of adjustments well the first that was kind of a nice explosion. It kind of went nice and even, and you may want that effect for some kind of visual. But we need to add some chaos. We need these particles to, to kind of fly out all over the place on their own. So I select the bomb, and I go into Modify, and there are several different Modify um, settings that we can use for a mesh bomb. The strength will blow it apart harder, faster. See how they go? The, the, the debris travels farther. So if you want it to be more chaotic, there you go. There's one, one thing. And I'm going to actually turn that down to about two. The next thing is spin. Add some spin to it. The pieces are going to come off, and they're also going to spin as they're flying. So it they, looks a little bit more unreal there. There we go. Starting to get something. Last but not least, okay, we're going to go ahead and add some gravity to it. The higher the gravity, the more the particles are going to flow down towards the ground at 5, now I go and I do 50 notice how they start falling before the explosion even ends so we can adjust the gravity there and I liked 5 and chaos throw some chaos and I most you can do is 10 there and see how these pieces they're all over the place so now they look more like a bunch of Doritos flying out in space now again this isn't a particle system this is a mesh bomb and you'll want to use this possibly in your reenactment. A few more things that you might want to know about the bomb is uh, notice how we got the bomb nicely sitting right in the middle, which is going to influence how this thing explodes. But if uh, you move the bomb out here, now watch what happens. The bomb starts to blow away from one side. Now I do have my strength up or pretty high, but uh, if you do notice, we can do something like this. Now also notice if you come halfway through your timeline and you move, look how the explosion works. So you can simply do an animated, okay, bomb. So maybe we want to go in and hit Auto key, okay, and. We'll keyframe it here, and then here, and then at this point it moves out. So what you're actually going to get is a moving bomb, something that hits and explodes. So again, maybe if you're doing a missile hitting something, you'll want this bomb to be on the tip of the missile, but binded to the object that's blowing up, so when it hits it, it explodes. Now, how do we control when the detonation, detonation takes place? Notice here that it doesn't do anything until 5. 6, it starts to blow up. That's the number down here, detonation. So if we wanted to, to go ahead and explode at frame 50, 
we can move this to, let's say we'll go here to 75 and 50. We'll drag that slider over and as soon as it hits the ball, bam, there it blows up and it keeps moving. Okay, so detonation is going to be the actual start of the bomb. All right, so hopefully that helps you out and um, I hope to see some of you using this in uh, your future projects.